The giant Antonov 225 took off from an airport outside Kiev and flew for 15 minutes before landing safely. The heavily reworked plane was originally designed to carry the former Soviet Union's Buran space shuttle. Industry experts say the AN-225, dubbed Maria or Dream, can carry 250 tons of cargo that is equivalent to the weight of 250 small family cars and could increase the size of that lucrative market. Test pilot Alexei Shulshenko expressed his enthusiasm after safely landing the plane. Antonov Airlines, an airline affiliated with the Antonov Design Bureau, has said that the Mirya could be hauling commercial cargoes very soon. Antonov is also the designer of the AN-124-100, the largest plane currently in commercial use, a 120-ton capacity freighter known also as the Ruslan. The AN-124 is aimed at a niche market for super heavy and oversized air cargo, which is worth more than 200 million US dollars a year and is dominated by Russian and Ukrainian carriers. Russia's Volga Dnepr Airlines, which controls the lion's share of the super heavy air cargo market, has also said it is interested in cooperating with Antonov to bring the AN-225 into commercial use. The plane was launched in 1988 as part of the former Soviet Union space program. Just two such planes were built and only one actually flew. The turbo AN-225's wingspan is 88.4 metres and the plane can carry its maximum cargo for up to 4,500 kilometers at a cruising speed of 800 to 850 kilometers per hour. With a lower payload of 150 tons, the range extends to 7,000 kilometers. Cargo can be carried both inside and outside the plane. <laughs> 